Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Shmile. I am currently a medical student studying in the UK. So this video today will be about um, situational judgment and it's probably going to be one of the most interesting videos I have ever released about the UK and legit I am excited to actually do this video so uh, you can probably you know probably uh, probably uh, feel my energy through um, this video screen computer screen mobile screen right now or tablet iPad or whatever you're using so what we are going to do is make this revision process regarding situational judgment a little bit more interesting and a lot more easier so step number one this is going to be a short video by the way I think possibly maybe so you want to download this if you don't know where to get this from or if you don't know what this is basically this is the good medical practice basically it's an outline of expectations of doctors and what to do what not to do really this is for patients so they are aware of the responsibilities and roles of a doctor but this is also for you know medics and other doctors out there so they know that they are following the rules and regulations so this is what your situational judgment will be constantly revolving around it's got a ton load of ethical you know stuff in here and even for your medicine interview or dentistry interview maybe not dentistry they I think have a different thing but um, for your medicine interview this is honestly key as well but anyways step number one download this once you've downloaded this then I want you to print it off. If you don't have a printer, that's completely fine. That's no problem at all. But if you have a printer, I want you to keep it in a nice plastic wallet or something like this and um, kind of like a book, you know, format. And what I want you to do, the second step, is to actually go out and highlight each part of, um, you know, the good medical practice. When I say each part, I mean parts which are you know important or distinct and what I also want you to do like I've done here let me show you right here oh gosh like you've seen here I've actually annotated some parts um, I've highlighted some bits um, you've got so you've got different things like you know you must offer help if emergency arise in you know clinical settings or in the community so there's a whole range of different things out here and um, it's definitely worth a good read once you've read this, the third step is probably going to be the most best thing ever. Now, the reason why I say print this out, because the next step kind of, you know, requires you to um, have it printed out. It will be a lot easier having it printed out. If you don't have a printer and you have an iPad, then you can download the PDF document. So let me show you where to go. So let me quickly switch this on. So if you go into Google, um, sorry, I said that in a, such a weird way. If you go into Google, um, let's see if, I, if this works. So the good medical practice is what you want to type in on Google and then GMC. And then the first thing that the first link that comes up, I want you to click that. And then I want you to scroll all the way down where it says English or Welsh, which, whichever one you want, but preferably, um, you know, English so you can understand, um, unless you, you know, you understand Welsh. So here we have the good medical practice in a PDF form. And if you're working on an iPad or some other, you know, uh, device which allows you to annotate the screen as well, then use that. If not, it's best if it's paper form. And if you don't have access to either, um, possibly, you know, go to the library and print this off. It's definitely worth having a physical copy of this or a digital copy which you can annotate. Otherwise, it might be a little bit too hard. And I wouldn't want you to convert this into a Word document and then, you know, um, annotate it it might not be the most efficient way of going around this okay so that step is done I don't know which step I'm on now but let's move on so like I said before you want to have a read through this highlight all the different parts now the next step is the most fun step ever like literally so I want you to go and sh uh, so I want you to go into YouTube and type in Chicago Med. Once you've found all the videos on Chicago Med, click on any one of them. I would just like to say that Chicago Med may not be, you know, um, the one for everyone to watch um, due to you know certain aspects of it being quite disturbing and being quite you know um, 
sensitive as well so that's just a disclaimer that um, don't watch this if you feel you know slightly uncomfortable regarding all of these issues that you might see on Chicago Med um, and to give you a clue as to what it might involve think of you know accident and emergency that's pretty much anything that you find in A&E you will find pretty much on um, you know Chicago Med and I don't want you to use Netflix or Amazon Prime for this because it's, um, you know, number one, the episodes are like 42, 40 minutes long each. That is a lot of time. But these little, little clips are like four, five minutes each. So they're quite, they're relatively quite short. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to have this open in front of you and watch one of these clips. And every time something significant happens, I want you to pause the video and refer to the GMC. So find a reference point from the GMC which can justify or nullify whatever's happening within that scene. So let's say, for example, um, you know, there was a you know, a colleague who came in and they weren't necessarily fit to be, you know, practicing uh, medicine at the time, and one of the people in the medical TV dramas witnessed this. What you want to do is then find a reference point from the GMC to justify whether that is right or wrong. So in this case, it would be wrong. And so it will be wrong in the sense of not trying to take this up or to inform someone on a higher level. And obviously, whilst remaining, you know, confidential and all of that stuff. So there's quite a lot that you can learn from Chicago Med in combination with your GMC, um, good medical practice. So... This is honestly a very, very fun way of revising. I'd recommend you doing this. If you want to, you can have a look at other medical TV dramas. For example, The Good Doctor is a good one. I'd recommend that. And Chicago Med, really. There are other medical TV dramas, but that's totally up to you whether you want to use them. But the two I recommend is Chicago Med and um, The Good Doctor. So using that in combination with the good medical practice, then honestly, it will be... Um, really good practice for your situational judgment after doing that so after you know a one two hour session maybe have a break the following day i want you to go on to medify and tackle the situational judgment questions you will definitely see some sort of improvement because majority of the situational judgment questions are around ethics and you know chicago med and the good doctor are full of this sort of stuff some of the stuff that they do is wrong and you being you know um a pre-medical prospective student for medicine or dentistry you want to kind of um train yourself to think as to what is right and what would be wrong and so looking at this whilst also looking at youtube as well so chicago med and the good doctor honestly is probably the most fun way to revise this for the ucat exam and then obviously this will also benefit you when it comes to your medicine interview so that was pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this on other tips on situational judgment or any other subset in the ucat feel free to comment down below and also subscribe and put the bell icon on because there'll be a ton load or maybe even more um, UCAT videos coming your way so you don't really want to miss them and yes I will see you another time next time and keep smiling and stay happy.